power system operation control today we are going to discuss about energy management system so energy management system ems is a software system it consists of uh, four major functions they are network model building including network topology processing and state estimation security assessment and third one automatic generation control and fourth one is economic dispatch so these are the four major functions energy management is the process of monitoring coordinating and controlling the generation transmission and distribution of electrical energy the physical plant to be managed includes generating plants that produce energy fed through transformers to the high voltage transmission network or grid interconnecting generating plants and local centers since transmission system provides negligible energy storage the supply and demand must be balanced either by the generation or the load since negligible energy can be stored in the transmission system so we can obtain the power balance either by the generation or load the production is controlled by turbine governors at generating plants and automatic generation control is performed by control center computers remote from generating plants which is the energy control center load management extends remote supervision and control to sub transmission and distribution circuit including control of residential commercial and industrial loads so this is a block diagram of energy management system which consists of an operating system database utilities and services then the application and here we will be having an operation and the training module in operation the load management and energy management will be carried out and you will be having automatic generation control security control and scada unit and in the training module power system simulation will be carried out using the software tool now we will see the functions of ems first one system load forecasting hourly energy or weekly energy then production cost calculation economic dispatch unit commitment maintenance scheduling megawatt interchange evaluation with neighboring system security constrained dispatch transmission loss minimization hydrothermal scheduling up to 7 days so these are the functions of energy management system now we will discuss this functions one by one first one system load forecasting the load forecasting helps utilities and grid operators to predict the future electricity demand accurate load forecasting ensures efficient power generation grid stability cost optimization and better decision making second one production cost calculation the energy management system collects real time data on electricity fuel gas steam or water usage across the machine or processes it calculates how much energy is consumed by each production unit and assign a momentary value based on energy tariff example a peak value tariff for off peak rates are assigned by linking with manufacturing data the ems determines the energy cost per unit of production third one economic dispatch so it is a key function of ems that involves the optimal allocation of generation resources to meet the required electricity load at the lowest possible cost while satisfying the system constraints so it ensures that the power generation units are scheduled and operated efficiently by determining the most cost effective combination of available generators based on their operating cost by continuously analyzing demand forecast fuel cost and generator efficiencies ems enable real time decision that minimize total production cost while maintaining system reliability and stability fourth one unit commitment it is a process of deciding which power generating unit should be turned on or off at specific times to meet electricity demand at a lowest possible cost so for this you'll be having so many methods you'll be having a brute force enumeration technique priority list method so that method can be applied 
considering the technical constraints as well. It involves planning the schedule of generators over a period usually 24 hours or more, ensuring that enough power is available to meet forecasted demand, maintain the system reliability and operate within the limits like startups, shutdown times, minimum up and down times and fuel availability. Fifth one, maintenance scheduling. It involves planning and coordinating the maintenance activities of power generation units and related infrastructures to ensure optimal system reliability, efficiency and availability. It helps determine the best time to perform preventive or corrective maintenance by considering factors such as load forecast, generation availability, equipment condition and operational constraints. Sixth one, megawatt interchange evaluation with neighboring system. It involves monitoring, calculating and optimizing the exchange of electrical power between interconnected power system or regions. This function ensures that power transfer align with the scheduled agreement between the neighboring regions or system reliability standards and economic efficiency. It helps in balancing load demand, avoiding congestion and maintaining frequency stability across the grid. By continuously assessing the actual versus scheduled interchange, the EMS can recommend or automate adjustment to maintain system balance and optimize operational cost while ensuring secure and reliable inter-regional power flow. Seventh one, security constrained dispatch. It refers to a real-time optimization of power generation and load allocation while ensuring that all operational and system security limits are strictly maintained. This function considers constraints such as generator limits, transmission line capacities, voltage levels and system stability margin to dispatch generation in the most cost effective manner without compromising the reliability and safety of the power grid. By incorporating contingency analysis and reliability criteria, it ensures that the system can withstand potential fault or outages maintaining secure operation even under the stressed conditions. Eighth one, transmission loss minimization. The EMS achieves this by monitoring real-time data, adjusting generation dispatch, managing voltage levels and reconfiguring network topology as needed. Advanced algorithms and tools like optimal power flow are used to calculate the most efficient operating conditions thereby enhancing overall system efficiency and reducing energy wastage during transmission. Last one, hydrothermal scheduling. Hydrothermal scheduling aims to optimize the combined use of hydroelectric and thermal power generation resources. The EMS analyzes various factors such as water availability in reservoirs, fuel cost, demand forecast and operational constraint to determine the most economical and reliable generation schedule. By strategically balancing the dispatch of hydro and the thermal unit, the system ensures efficient energy production while conserving water resources and minimizing fuel consumption and emissions. This coordinated scheduling improves overall system performance and cost effectiveness. The main goal of the energy management system is to maximize safety, minimize damage and continue to supply load with the least inconvenience to customers. Energy management is performed at control centers typically called system control centers or energy control centers by computer systems called energy management system. Data acquisition and remote control is performed by the system called SCADA system. So these are the overall operation and functions of energy management system.